Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to graph logarithmic function of the form y equals a log of x minus h plus k to the base b with transformation. And this is the first part. In this part, we're going to have a is equal to 1. Before we jump into this example right here, let's have a review on the basics of logarithmic equation. We remember that this logarithmic equation here is the inverse of exponential equation. And these are how we arrange the letters and variable in these two e equations. So the base is going to go here. And then this exponent x will be on this side of the logarithmic equation. And we have the y here. And we put the y over here on this side of the logarithmic equation. Now, we, uh, if we look at the arrow here, it goes back and forth. This means that if we want to change a logarithmic equation into exponential, we need to place all of these letters and variables into this form. And if we want an exponential to become a logarithmic equation, we are going to rearrange these three in this way, in this exact arrangement, so that we have, you can go back and forth. <laughs> Okay, so let's jump into this example right here. There are steps that we need to follow in order that we can sketch the graph of this um, um, equation right here. So the first step that we're going to do is determine the asymptote and the locator point and sketch this on the graph. We remember that the locator point is not part of the graph. So in this equation that we have here, in order that we can determine the um, asymptote, we are going to set the ones that are inside the parentheses to zero. So that would be the first step. I'm just going to write step one right here. I will determine the asymptote. Okay, so the equation for the asymptote is x equals negative 3. Again, what I did was I set up the ones that are inside the parentheses equal to 0 and solve for x. And so the asymptote is x equals negative 3. Now we're ready to determine the locator point. Locator point, I'll just write that as LP, is actually like the vertex of the... Um, equation, but then we don't call it a vertex for logarithmic. We call it as locator point. We always switch and keep. So the locator point is negative three and negative one. Again, we remember that this locator point is not part of the graph. Now we are ready to sketch these two here. So we start first with the um, asymptote, which is x is equal to negative 3. So in this um, graph, in this um, graph right here, we go to x negative 3, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. So this will be our asymptote. Okay, so what are we going to do next is we are going to sketch the locator point. Since the locator point is not part of the graph, I'm going to use a pencil for this. So that would be on negative 3, negative 1. So that would be here. So this will be the locator point. Now we move on to the second step. The second step is to determine the equation to set up the table. Just like what we did with the other um, equation, we are going to cover the H and we cover the K. And that would be the equation that we are going to use in order that we can set up the table. So in this um once we cover this, in this equation that we have here, we are left with y is equal to log of just x because we covered the h and k to the base 4. Now, we are going to change this to its exponential form. Again, we had a review on how to change exponential form to a logarithmic form at the beginning of this video. So we go ahead and write this as 4 to the power y is equal to x. And this will be the equation that we're going to use to set up the table. So I'm just going to go ahead and write this as from the locator point. Okay, so I'll give you a trick on what to fill into this table here. Since our 
A here is one. We are going to write the middle as zero and we go backwards one. So that would be a negative one here and this would be a positive one. Again, since our A was one. So that's the trick on how we set up the uh, Y. So in here, we can go ahead and say since Y talks about either going up or down, since that's negative, we go ahead and say that we are going down and it's a zero, so we're not going anywhere up or down, so we're not gonna label anything to it. And then that's a positive one, that means we go up. Now, what are we gonna do is we are going to plug this value into this equation. So this will be the equation that we are going to use in order that we can solve for this parts right here. So then we go ahead and plug this in. So that would be four to the power negative one because this is the Y. So we can solve for X. So that's th that's the X right here. That's the one that we're looking for. So I can go ahead and set this up as four to the, then I will uh, plug in the Y, which is the negative one. So four to the negative one is actually one over four to the positive one. So that's uh, one of the properties of exponents. If we want the exponent to be positive, you have to put it downwards. So you have to put it in the denominator and the exponent becomes a positive. And so this can be rewritten as uh, one over four, or pretty much if we change this into decimal, this would come out 0. 0.25. 25. Since that's a positive, that, that means since it's on, this is on the x, we go to the right. And so we do exactly the same thing for the rest of this. Now, please remember that these are not coordinates. These are the movement that we do from the locator point. So we go ahead and um, set up the um, graph right now. We're ready to move on to the third step. The third step is to use the table to determine the rest of the points from the locator point and sketch the graph. We remember that the locator point is not part of the graph. So from here, we go ahead and start from the locator point, which was in pencil, and then I go down one. So from the locator point, I go down one, and then I go 0 0.25 to the right. So that would be 0 0.25 right. So that would be somewhere around here. So this is 0 0.5 halfway, halfway of 0 0.5 and zeros should be somewhere around here. So I put that dot over there. And then we move on to the next one. So from the locator point, I'm not moving anywhere. And so I go one step to the right. So from the locator point, one step to the right. So I uh, put the dot here. And then the next one right here is uh, from the locator point, I go up one and then I go four to the right. One, two, three, four. So this is the next dot. Now we are now ready to sketch the uh, graph. So what are we gonna do is we are supposed to draw the graph. Please remember that this graph is not touching the asymptote. It gets closer and closer to it, but will not touch it. So be sure that you're not, um, we don't um, make this graph touch the asymptote. And then we can draw the other side right here on that uh, other end of the graph. And so this is the graph for this equation that we have um, up here. So this is the graph of this equation. Once we are done with this, we are supposed to erase the locator point because again, that is not part of the graph. So I take that off. Again, we do not, uh, that's just, it's just called a locator point. That is just for us to determine where do we go from the locator point, but that is not part of the graph. So be sure that you erase that locator point at the end when you have graphed it already. On the side, you will see the Desmos version of this graph. So this graph, the paper version that we have, and the Desmos version are a match. That means that this equation that we have here will have this uh, shape of the graph. At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own. And when you're done, and pause it and check your answer. Okay, so we go over the problem here. So we're gonna start with the first step. The first step is to determine the asymptote and the locator point and sketch this on the graph. And we remember that the locator point is not part of the graph. So I'm just gonna go ahead and write the asymptote here.
Okay, so I've set up the um, the asymptote and the locator point. So again, the asymptote, we set the one inside the parentheses to zero and we solve for x. That's how I got the x is equal to um, one. And then the locator point is switch. So that becomes a positive and keep, that's a negative two. And then from here, we go ahead and sketch this on the graph. Now we're ready to move on to the second step. The second step is to determine the equation and set up the table. So in order that we can determine the equation, we're supposed to cover the H and the K. So I'm gonna cover both of them. So whatever the leftover is, that is the equation that we're going to use. So that would be, Okay, since this is a negative, we wanna get rid of the negative. So we are we can divide both sides by negative one and divide this by negative one. So then the equation comes out, so we can cross this out first. So that comes out y over negative one is equal to the log of x to the base three. If we wanna change this into its um, exponential form, that would be three to the power y divided by negative one is just a negative y. So again, that's a negative y because we have y divided by ne negative one is a negative y, and that is equal to x. So this will be the equation that we are going to use in order that we can um, set up the table. Okay, since our um, a here is one, so positive or negative one, so we go ahead and write zero here, and then negative one and positive one. This means that we go down and then we go up. Now we are going to plug this into this equation right here. So this would come out, that's we write the three, that's it says it's, it's a negative y, so I go ahead and write this as a negative of a negative one. Okay, so the reason why there are two negatives here because the first negative was part of the equation and then the y was a negative one, so I put it inside a parentheses, so that becomes three negative to the exponent negative of negative one. And this would come out three to the power one, which is pretty much three. So that means we go to the right since that is positive. Now we move on to the next one here. So I'll just, I'm just gonna set up the rest of them. So Okay, so I've set up the rest of them. So what are we gonna do now is we are going to um, move on to the third step. The third step is to use the table to determine the rest of the points from the locator point and sketch the graph. And we remember again that this locator point is not part of the graph. So then we can go ahead and start with this. So from the locator point, we're supposed to go down one, and then we're supposed to go three right. So that would be one, two, three. So this is where the gra I mean, the first dot is gonna sit. And then we have from the locator point, we don't move anywhere, but we go one step to the right. So I'm gonna put that right here. So this is the second point. And then the third point is from the locator point, we go up one and then we go 0 0.33 to the right. So that's 0 0.5, 0 0.33 should be somewhere around here. And so these are the three points that we're going to use in order that we can sketch the graph. Again, the graph is gonna approach the um, asymptote, but it's not gonna touch it and it's gonna go to the other side as well. It's gonna curve towards this side. So this is the graph of this equation um, right here. And so again, we remember that we are supposed to erase the locator point since that is not part of the graph. So this is the graph of this um, equation right there. On the side, you will see the decimals version of this graph and you can see that both graphs are just a match. So this is the paper version of the graph, and the other one that you see right now on the left side is the Desmos version of the graph.
Did you get the same answers as this? Yeah! Good. Perfect. If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya!